Welcome to West Kentucky Community and Technical College's Cooking at the College. I'm your host, Chef Brett McCarthy, and I want to cook with you. Well, welcome back to Cooking at the College. I'm your host, Chef Brett McCarthy, and we're going to be doing some uh, very interesting oriental cuisine. Uh, at this point in time, we're actually having our international class, and we were talking about Japan and, all, of course, all in China and Vietnam and all those different cuisines that kind of go into that um, umbrella of Asian cuisine. And the first thing that I'm going to talk to you about is a wonton. I'm going to show you how to make a wonton. We're also going to make a wonton soup. And wontons are very interesting because uh, not only very easy to make, but uh, they're very versatile. You can have them in a soup, you can have them as pot stickers or dumplings, or you can even fry them. So they have a lot of versatility to them. And uh, the, the wrapper that we're going to be using is an egg roll wrapper. You can also buy wonton wrappers. I didn't have any wonton wrappers, so I'm going to show you how to do it from an egg roll wrapper. Very easy, easily done. And uh, we're going to get started here. So we have um, one of the things that I like to use is uh, Italian sausage because it has all that flavoring. But you can use any kind of pork. And usually you can season it up any way that you want to season it up. The nice thing about the Italian sausage is it's already pre-seasoned. So this is just a sweet Italian sausage. And what I've done is I've uh, cooked it. Uh, you can cook it on the grill. Or I just did it right in the wok there until it was cooked all the way through. And uh, that's about it. Chop it up and, and you can throw it right in. One cup, of, approximately one cup of, the, um, of that. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of chopped scallion. That's going to go right in there. And then I have some nice mushrooms. These are oriental mushrooms. So we got some shiitake, we got some oyster in here, different kinds of things. Um, and I've rehydrated them and I want to show you how that's done. Basically you when you buy the mushrooms, they come dry, and you'll have to take some hot water, and you can uh, use that hot water to rehydrate. Now, the stock that is left from that can also be used in the soup. So it's a it's very good uh, stock that can be used from the rehydrated, rehydrated mushrooms. So that's uh, something that you can do right there. So we're going to add those mushrooms, and they're chopped. Now, you'll see everything is very finely chopped because you're only going to put a very small amount in that wonton square. And if you had them too, if you had too many big chunks, it'd be very hard to get into that square. And you really don't have to get too complex on the ingredients. Most of the time, they just have some pork in there or some uh, ground chicken. You can use ground turkey. You can do all kinds of different things. Uh, you really don't have to get too complex with this, this dish here. OK, so I'm going to stir this around just like that and just get it all mixed in. And we're going to add one egg. And the egg is just added as a binder. I'm going to crack that right in there. Okay, and I'm going to mix that in there. Okay. You can see that kind of just makes it into a nice mash there. It brings it all together as it should. Okay. And as that wonton is cooking, That'll all make it come together, and of course that egg will cook. You don't have to worry about salmonella or anything like that. All right, and as you can see, I have a, a bamboo steamer. You don't need to have a bamboo steamer. In fact, you don't even have to steam these. You can actually boil them. You can use chicken stock if you like the extra flavor of the chicken stock. You can boil it in water. Um, there's really a lot of versatility, as I started out to say. Uh, but here's a bamboo steamer actually has two levels to it, okay? I'm not going to take it apart because it's a little bit difficult for this particular one to put back together. But here's the first level. Of course, this, uh, the second level, the first level looks exactly the same. We're just going to arrange the wontons in a single layer in here. We'll put this on, and then that'll go into the wok. And in the wok, I have, I have just some stock. You don't have to use chicken stock. You can just use water. It's up to you. I just think that adds just a little bit of flavor to it. And I just put that right on there, and that's all there is to it. So we'll put that, and as that's coming to a boil, I am going to show you. Incidentally, I have these nice little slip-proof uh, grabbers. You can get these uh, really at the dollar shop, and they're really nice for keeping things still. You can put, use, put your cutting board on them. You can put your 
a bowl on there and it kind of acts as a third hand. Things don't slip around, but this was an idea from one of our culinary students. All right, so we got our, our egg roll wrappers here. And they're coming apart a little bit there. And I'm going to try and get them into nice, even squares, just like this. Okay. And then I'm going to square them off again until I have four squares. And you might not do it perfect. I doubt I'll do it perfect. Okay, but as long as they're pretty even, you've got four even squares. All right. And we're just going to lay them out, just like so. And I have a little scoop. And I'm going to take this. It's just a little tiny sorbet scoop. You could use just a spoon. That's fine, but you're not looking for that much. Okay, and you're just going to lay that right in there. Just like that. Okay. And I have just a little bit of egg wash. It's just water and an egg. All right, that's all it is. And I'm just going to do this one end. That's all I need to do. I don't need to do both. All right. Okay. I'm going to fold it over, kind of scoot that to the back, fold it over, and just kind of just kind of crimp it. That's all you're doing. You're just crimping it. Just like that, and you get kind of that look that you get when you go to the oriental restaurants, Asian restaurants, you'll see that kind of crimped look there. And that's just taking your two fingers, just kind of scooting them around like that, that's all. You just want to make sure, you can use a fork if you want, just like making a turnover, okay, just like that. I'm going to put that right over there. Okay. And at this point, we're just going to take this right over to the stove. You can see that steaming away just nicely. Bamboo really holds all that steam. And I've cheated a little bit here. I've taken a little bit of uh, Pam and sprayed the top, and that just kind of keeps it from sticking. I'm just going to put that right in here. We're looking at about five minutes of steam time. Just like that. And that's about it. Okay. And when we come back, we're going to show you how to set that all up. And uh, we're going to go on to our next little project, which is going to be spring rolls. And I'll see you back in a minute. Welcome back to Cooking at the College. I'm your host, Chef Brett McCarthy, and we're going to, we are making Asian cuisine, and uh, we're going to make a little wonton soup for you. And I have my big wonton bowl. This is really a noodle bowl. It's actually a little bit larger than, than, your, than your typical wonton soup bowl, but this is what I had, so that's what I'm going to use. But usually you would do this in like Thai cuisine. They'd have like a Thai noodle soup, and they'd put all kinds of vegetables and noodles in there and dress it up and uh, maybe put a little bit of toasted sesame oil on top. So they actually assemble the soup um, add, as you order it. They'll put it together for you, so it's really kind of neat. But for now, it's going to be a wonton soup bowl. And we're going to put our wontons, which look just beautiful. In fact, I, they just look so gorgeous. I'm just going to take that right out for you, just like that. And you can see how pretty those are. And we're going to place those right in the bowl. Just like that. Just beautiful. All right, we'll turn off our heat there. I'm going to take a little bit of chicken stock. I just happen to be using um, an organic chicken stock. You don't have to use that. Use any kind of chicken stock. You can make your own chicken stock. This happens to be a, a Swanson brand chicken stock, which is just fine for our purposes today. And you can see they just look beautiful. They just gorgeous there. 
and we will take a, a little bit of um, scallions and just kind of plop them in there, make them look pretty. You can add additional vegetables if you so choose. Sometimes that is done. Um, and then we'll just take a little drizzle of toasted, or sesame oil actually, this isn't the toasted kind. I think I'll do the toasted kind because I'm feeling crazy today. So we'll just do a little toasted sesame oil on top and just kind of drizzle that on there. Make that look pretty. And voila, this is your wonton soup. And the wontons have been stuffed with Italian sausage, an assortment of Asian mushrooms and scallions. And that is the uh, first entree of today, our first recipe of today. And uh, I'll join you in just a couple minutes and uh, see you back in just a few seconds. Welcome back and uh, welcome to Cooking at the College. I'm your host, Chef Brett McCarthy, and we're going to be making some spring rolls. And uh, spring rolls come in a variety of ways. They come fresh, ready to roll, and then they also come this way, which they almost look like a plastic disc, and you have to rehydrate them. And you rehydrate them with warm water, and you just take a, a pan the size of the disc itself, the, and it's made out of, it's actually made out of starch and rice flour is what it really is. And, Somehow they have a process, and I am not haven't actually seen them make them, so I don't know how they're made exactly, but we're just going to take a little bit of warm water, and we're just going to put that right on there. That's just to cover it. Like I said, about 15 to 20 seconds, and they will uh, soften up, and then at that point in time, I'll transfer it over to the cutting board, and we will fill them. Now, we're actually going to serve this spring roll uh, raw, and it's not going to be fried. So a lot of times we see egg rolls and spring rolls fried. The fact of the matter is it's, a, it's also used very often as kind of in, in uh, almost like a salad uh, course. Uh, so it's, a, it's an appetizer course and uh, you put uh, the same kinds of ingredients, Asian vegetables and stuff like that, but you don't pre-cook the vegetables as you would in a spring roll or an egg roll. So that's what we're going to do and this is actually uh, ready, and you can see it's very delicate at this point. And we're just going to pull this out and put that right on here. And I'm going to blot it dry just with a paper towel, just being very careful. Okay. And uh, at that point, I'm going to send you over to uh, my teaching assistant, uh, Rick Picka, and he has joined us once again, and he's going to make a sauce for you that's going to go in here. Hi. One of the things with Asian cooking. Uh, if you've noticed, every time you eat at a Japanese or a Chinese restaurant is, is a dipping sauce. And we're going to make up a dipping sauce today. And it's, it's going to be a, a kind of thin, and it's going to be a sweet and spicy. But you can make it, you can take ingredients and make any kind of dipping sauce any way that you want to, to your taste. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to use a base of honey. So we'll start with... Uh, about a quarter cup of honey. Get that all in there. And we'll get a, about a tablespoon All right, let's see a half a tablespoon of soy sauce. And now this is a toasted sesame oil. You can get sesame oil that's toasted or untoasted, but I, I like the flavor of the, the toasted for this. And I use about a half a tablespoon of that also. Then there's a sweet chili dipping sauce. And I use about a tablespoon of that. Rick, you can really have fun with this, can you not? Oh, absolutely. You can do anything that you want. Now the hoisin sauce is this really strong flavor, so you kind of just be careful with that, a little bit at a time. I'm going to use maybe about a quarter of a 
quarter of a teaspoon. Remember, this is all to your taste. And I'm going to mix that up just a little bit. Like I mentioned, this is a, a kind of a sweet and spicy one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some hot sauce. And here you use, oh, a half, half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. And this is definitely to taste. If you like it nice and spicy, well, that's, you just add as much as you want to. If you don't, well, just be careful. And then I like to top it off with some sesame seed. Gives it a really nice nutty flavor. And maybe about a teaspoon or so of that. Bam! Bam! Mix that all up like that and I'll tell you what, you got your good dipping sauce. Remember this is to your taste so whatever, however you want to mix it with whatever ingredients you want. And there it is. And there it is. Alright, and I'm just going to take that sauce, I'm going to bring it right over here, because with this particular item here, we want to uh, put the sauce right in with the roll. So I got a, a variety of different things here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, pasta in there, and this is actually an Asian noodle, kind of like a Raymond noodle. You can buy this at the World Market. That's where I got mine. And just put that right in there. Okay called a soba noodle. I got a little bit of bamboo shoots here, julienne. This is a little broccoli slaw. This is the ends of the broccoli cut up. You can buy that as well. A little cut up snow peas here. So you can have lots of fun with this. And, oh, well, we'll put a little bok choy there, too. All this is available locally, so you don't have to worry about not being able to get any of this stuff. All right. We're just going to put a little bit of sauce. Actually, if I could just have a little spoon there, Rick, I'll just uh, grab one there, and I'll be fine. Just going to stir that up. I'm just going to... Drizzle that right in there. You can put any kind of things that you want in this. You can have lots of fun. You could put rice in here if you'd like. And you're just going to roll it up like that, nice and firm. You see how I tucked in the sides before, okay? And you got to be a little bit careful with it because it is delicate. But you're going to roll that right up just like that. Just seal it in like that, okay? And at that point in time, just cut it on the bias at an angle. I like to use a knife that has this uh, kind of serrated edge. goes through it much more easily. Okay, and you can see how nice that is. I'm just going to put that just like that. And just like that, really pretty. And then we got a little scallion flower. If I have time, I'll show you how to make that little scallion flour. And if you want to put a little bit more sauce, just kind of drizzle that over there. That looks nice, Chef, doesn't it? Absolutely. All right. So that's a, that's a spring roll, fresh spring roll, not fried like it usually is. That's a fresh spring roll. It's got some soba noodles in there, some Asian vegetables. Nice little tangy sauce, kind of sweet, spicy, and it's garnished with a scallion flour, and we've just sprinkled a little bit of sauce over the top. So that's what that is. When you come back, we're going to show you how to make an egg roll so that it always comes out for you, and we'll see you back in just a second. Welcome back to Cooking at the College. I'm your host, Chef Brent McCarthy, and we're going to make you a shrimp egg roll. And I want to show you the basics 
for doing an egg roll, and you can just really do all kinds of interesting things with egg rolls. Obviously, you can stuff it with most anything, uh, but the, the key difference between this and the spring roll that we just made is you do have to cook the ingredients prior. Just remember, if you are frying a spring roll or an egg roll wrapper, then the ingredients inside has to be cooked, okay? Or somewhat cooked. It doesn't have to be cooked it, till they're mushy, but they do have to be cooked somewhat through. And uh, if it's raw, then you can keep the ingredients raw, just like a salad. So that's just kind of the rule of thumb that I wanted to share with you. And uh, we're going to make first a slurry. And how we're going to do that, I got a, about a teaspoon of arrowroot, and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of that mushroom water. And that's going to be what's kind of going to put all our vegetables together there. I'm going to make that slurry just like that. And you don't have to use arrowroot, you can use cornstarch. I just happen to have it, and it's a, uh, something that the Asians would use, so I wanted to keep true to form there. All right. And we're going to turn on our little makeshift stove there. And I'm going to use a little toasted sesame oil to get us started there. Just a drop, that's all that's needed. And at this point, you can add any kind of vegetables that you want. I'm choosing um, some snow peas like I did before, a little bit of scallion, some bok choy, bamboo shoots. We got uh, some shrimp. And this is the salad shrimp, okay? It's been pre-cooked already, so it won't take much to cook this. And that's about it. That's all we're going to do. But you can do all different kinds of stuff there. We'll just heat this up a little bit, get this nice and warm. And I'm just going to get it nice and hot so that when we put it in there, we're going to get a little sizzle. I like that sizzle. All right. So we'll put that in there and there we go. Oh, we got the sizzle. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we'll put that in there just like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Nice stuff. All right, so we'll just put that right in there. I'm going to add a little bit more. I want a lot of stuff in there. All right. go. Little wrist action. Right, Rick? Oh, I'll tell you what. That is fancy. Right. I'm telling you. Okay. Now we're going to add our slurry right there, which is just going to be poured right over. That'll thicken up instantly. It does smell good. Okay. We have smell -o vision here. We're going to say that's right. We need smell -o vision. Okay. And actually, we're going to have to just let this cool for just a couple seconds. So we'll be back in just a minute. And I'm going to show you how to stuff that egg roll and get it frying, all right? Okay, welcome back to Cooking at the College, and we have our oil now ready to go, and that's what we're going to fry, obviously, our, our egg roll in, and we have our cooled down shrimp stir fry here, our egg roll filling, if you will, and really, you know, you can put anything into an egg roll. That's really nice. It's, like I said, it needs to be somewhat cooked, because you're not going to get a lot of cooking for the product. Uh, once you dump it into the, or place it into the oil, I should say. So we're going to put uh, quite a few shrimp. I like a lot of shrimp in mine. Okay, and then I'm going to just brush it with a little bit of egg wash, just like that. All right. Okay, and I'm going to put that right over like that. And then just like that. And I'm just going to roll it up.
just tightly roll it. Sometimes the little ends will stick out a little bit, not a big deal, just seal them right back up again, that just happens sometimes. And then you're just going to put it right in here and I think that's ready to go. I'm just going to do the old water test and that's perfect, okay. And we're just going to place that right in there, just like that. Chef, you said that you can put anything in there, but ice cream probably wouldn't be a good idea. Ice cream probably not, although the Asians are known for their fried ice cream. And we'll probably do that, and that's a, a process of actually taking an eclair batter and uh, making an eclair puff, and you'll inject it with ice cream, you freeze it again, and then you can throw it in the deep fryer, and the eclair puff will actually insulate the ice cream from melting. And there's another way to do it. You can take the ice cream and roll it in corn flakes, crushed corn flakes, and um, and then fry it that way. Um, not quite as it's a much more quick process doing it that way. So mm -hmm. there's a couple of different processes. Um, when you do it with the e eclair, you have to actually put it into a, a batter. And you batter it and it puffs up. So kind of okay. like that tempura batter that right. we did. We did okay. that tempura batter. It's the same kind of batter. It's just a little bit sweeter. They add a little sugar to it. Okay. So that's how they do it. So this is uh, almost ready to go. I'm just going to use my towel to drain it. It's going to take about, oh, not even two minutes. See, that's just cooking along just nicely there. That's just pretty, isn't it? It is. Mm -hmm. It's ready to go. We'll turn that heat off. Always be very careful around hot oil. We're just going to drain it just a little bit. I'll put that right there. And a scallion flour. All right. And we got a nice little sauce just waiting for me to dip right there. Okay. And this is our Asian show. We got a nice wonton soup. We got our spring roll wrapper, we got our egg roll, and uh, all these things are very easy to make and you can enjoy them and have fun. And uh, bon appetit, thank you for joining us. It still cut you. <laughs>